hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to quickly show you how you can install the quantlib and after that how you can use the quantlib in visual studio 2022 so to install the quantlib library you have to open your chrome browser and you have to search for quantlib just type here quantlib and press enter and you have to go on this side just click here quantlib and after that you have to go into the documentation and click on the installation instructions just click here and today we are going to install the quantlib for microsoft visual c++ but later in my upcoming videos i will show you how you can install the quantlib in mac os and linux based operating systems and after that i will also show you in my upcoming videos that how you can build the quantlib using the cmake build instructions and i will also show you about the quantlib python installation and i will show you how you can install the quantlib python in different operating systems so today we are going to install it for microsoft visual c++ just click on it and follow the instructions as you can see here the quantlib library also depend on the boost library so it means you have to install the boost first in order to use the quantlib library so you can install the boost in two different ways either from the source or from the pre-built binaries i have already made the videos on how you can install the boost either from source or from pre-built binaries i will share the link in the description and you can watch the videos about the boost installation from there so after installing the boost the next section is the quantlib installation and to install the quantlib library you have to go to its release pages and install the latest version just right click on it and open it in a new tab and in releases the latest version of quantlib is 1.36 we are going to download the zip folder just click here it will automatically start the download here as you can see that this version of the quantlib library requires the c17 the minimum c++ standard you required is the c17 for this version of the quantlib library next as the download is completed we are going to open it in a folder just click here and next thing we are going to extract this folder using winrar just right click open with winrar extract to and i'm going to extract it in my c just click here c ok after the extraction you have to go into the directory where you have extracted your quantlib library i have extracted it in my c directory so i'm going into c as you can see the quantlib 1.36 here we have to go inside this directory and we have to search for the file quantlib.sln and open it in visual studio 2022 and for this you have to double click on this file it will open it in microsoft visual studio 2022 you have to select restart this application under different credentials just click here yes and you have to open your file quantlib.sln just click on it so the next thing is we have to build our quantlib library in visual studio 2022 as you can see the window here solution explorer we have over three folders example quantlib and test suit we are going to build all these three folders one by one first you have to go into the view and you have to go into the other window and you have to open the property manager just click on it and in this list you have to look for the quantlib Quantlib, just click on it and expand it and you have to right click on quantlib and click on the add new property sheet and you have to just click on the add it will add the property sheet in all of these folders that are under the quantlib next you have to expand all of these folders under the quantlib one by one this 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 one next you have to select the property sheet from all the folders just click on the property sheet press ctrl and select this one this one go down this one this one this one this one and this one again right click on the property sheet and go into the properties and here we have to give the path for the boost libraries where our visual studio 2022 will find the boost library for this you have to click on the vc++ directories and first you have to go into the include directories just click here click on edit click on this sign then click here and you have to go into your boost folder and just select folder click on ok next you have to go into the library directories and here you have to click here click on edit click on this folder sign click here again you have to go into your boost directory and go into your lib folders and load this folder here just click on select folder and click ok here 
next you have to go into the c c plus plus expand it go into the general and again here in additional include directories give the path of your boost library just click here click on edit click here click here again c boost select folder okay next you have to go into the linker expand it go into the journal and go into the additional library directories just click here click on edit click here click here go into the boost again and go into the lib folder and select folder okay apply okay after that you have to close this property manager just click on this cross sign next we are going to build each of these three folders one by one first we are going to build the quantlib for this again you have to right click on the quantlib and go into the properties and again in the v c++ directories in the include directories you have to give the path of the boost and in the library directives you have to give the path of the libs and go into the c c++ and go into the general here again in additional include directories you have to give the path of the boost click on this sign here here boost select folder okay and similarly again go into the librarian general additional library directories and again click here here edit click this sign this sign and again go into the c boost and load your lips folder here select folder okay apply okay now we are going to build the quantlib just right click on it and click on build it will take few minutes to build this library and after the successful build you will see this kind of prompt build one succeeded zero failed zero up to date zero skip and next we have to build the test suit again select the test suit right click go into the properties and again you have to go into the v c++ directories and you have to go into the include directories just click here 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 and again select the boost click on select folder okay and again you have to go into the library directories click here 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 and again you have to go into the boost and select the lib folder select folder okay again you have to open the c c++ expand it go into the general again here additional include directories include the boost folder just click here here again go into the boost select folder okay and again you have to go into the linker general and again additional library directories click here here edit here here c boost and libs folder select ok apply ok and next we are going to build this test suit folder just right click on it and click on build again it will take few minutes to build this folder test suit and again after the successful build you will see this kind of prompt build one succeeded zero failed one up to date zero skip next we are going to build the examples just expand this folder and you have to select all the things under the example just control a unselect this one this folder quantlib and this again right click here go into the properties again set the path for the boost and the loose lips folder again go into the vc++ directories include directories click here click here click here click here here boost select folder ok library directories click here edit here here c boost lips select folder ok again expand the cc++ general additional include directories go here edit here here c boost folder select folder ok and go into the linker general additional library directories go here edit here here c boost libs select folder ok apply ok next you can right click on the examples and build it just click on build it will build all the examples from the quantlib library after the successful build you will again see this kind of prompt build 19 succeeded 0 failed 1 up to date 0 skipped as we have built all the three folders next you can build the whole solution just right click here click on build solution so at this stage our quantlib library is successfully built and next we will see how we can use this library in our visual studio 2022 projects now again open your visual studio 2022 and now we are going to create an empty project where we are going to use our quantlib library just click here create a new project and we are going to create an empty project for now click on next and we are going to name it quantlib test click on create as you can see that our project is created in the solution explorer next you have to right click on the source file 
and you have to add your C++ file go on add new item and give your cpp file name i'm going just to name it test.cpp add and next you have to right click on the quantlib test go into the properties and here you have to give the path for the boost library and also for the quantlib library again go into the v c++ directories include directories click here edit here here go into c boost select folder okay again go into the include directories and now give the path for the quantlib library edit here here c quantlib select folder okay now you have to go into the library directories click here first add the path for the boost libs directory and then the path of the quantlib libs directory click here first go into the boost here boost libs folder select folder okay next you have to open it again edit here here now go into the quantlib here and select this lib folder and select folder okay next you have to go into the c c++ general additional include directories here edit here 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 you just have to load the path for the boost folder go into the c directory boost select folder okay next you have to go into the linker general additional library directories click here edit here here again go into the boost select the libs folder select folder ok apply ok next we are going to write our test program and test our quantlib library to check if the quantlib library is built it successfully or not go into the test.cpp and here you can write your test program i am going to copy the test program from the quantlib website just again open your browser go into the quantlib website that we have opened before go down 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 here just copy this example from here right click copy and paste it in your visual studio 2022 save it and now we are going to run and test the output just click here as you can see here we are getting lot of errors this is because this version of quantlib library only works with the c++ 17 standard because my visual studio right now is set to c++ 14 that's why we are getting these lot of errors to fix it you have to simply again go into the project properties just click here on the quantlib test right click go into the properties go into the expand c c++ go into the language here you can see that the default is selected to c++ 14 and this version only works with c++ 17 or higher select here c++ 17 or 20 it works with both click on apply ok now if i run my program again here as you can see that now i have got no error and you can see the output here and you can compare this output that we got from the visual studio 2022 against this website and you can see here we have successfully built the quantlib library and we know how we can use it in our visual studio projects this is it for today see you next time bye bye